Farm Edition with me, Naya Patel. So today we are going to discuss one of the many struggles of being a mother and that is how to wean your baby off breast milk and introduce other solid and semi-solid to your child. So this is a topic which many of us really relate to and struggle with especially if we have very cranky children and children who are not ready to let go of that breast milk but hopefully in this video you will find all the answers that you're looking for. So let's go. So first let me just set some ground rules for us to take our discussion further. So the first question is when should we wean our baby off? So according to World Health Organization or the WHO, six months is the minimum time a mother should exclusively breastfeed her child. But due to some reason, some mothers are not able to exclusively breastfeed. So weaning baby off during these six months is meaning that you're going to replace it with a formula bottle. So how would you do that? Uh, generally, it is really easy to uh, replace your breast milk with formula for uh, children under six months of age because those uh, infants are not really uh, used to our breast milk as a toddler or an elder child would be. So it is generally easier for uh, infants to adjust to whatever we uh, give them so uh, but anyways uh, exclusively blessed breastfeeding till six months is advisable because that is the best source of nutrition and the best thing that you could give to your child and set a base for their future health so after six months breastfeeding is a continued feeding that is, it still remains the major source of nutrition for your child along with the semi-solids and liquids that you would introduce to your child. If you are planning to uh, stop breastfeeding for kids which are younger than one year but more than six months, uh, cow milk is not at all advisable. You still have to replace your breast milk with formula only because children still have not developed that digestion capacity to digest anything apart from mother's milk. So you cannot really give any other animal milk to your child who is younger than one year old. So if you want to wean off and start bottle in that period, that is formula bottle, what you can do is uh, you can start slowly by diluting your uh, breast milk with the formula milk. So uh, if you start by three is to one proportion that is three parts breast milk and one part formula then slowly decrease the proportion of the breast milk and increase the proportion of formula milk so uh, within one week or two weeks you can completely switch from breast to formula milk so that your child will not instantly reject that no this is not something i like and uh, slowly and gradually the child might develop a taste for formula and then happily drink that. So that is one tip if you are planning to wean off before one year. But according to World Health Organization and Indian Academy of Pediatrics, you must breastfeed at least for one year because you need to provide your kid with all the immunity and nutrients that they need until one year from your breast milk. That is the best thing you could do for your child. So next we come to breastfeeding for children between one year of age and above. So uh, basically this is the time when breastfeed is just a complementary feed where solids, semi-solids and other liquids would be their major source of nutrition. Uh, not to say that breast milk is not important, it is very important, but it should only be as a complementary to the other sources of nutrition. And this is where our real challenge begins. And this is where most mothers plan to wean off their baby. So let's see how we can do that. According to me, the ideal time to wean off would be around the 18 month mark. 
because uh, after that children are really aware about their environment they are really aware about what they like what they don't like so the resistance to winning off increases the number of tantrums they throw increases and also the fact that they are bigger right so you're not able to hold them or they have more energy to repel and you know they hit you they bite you they do all those kind of things so around the 18 month mark uh, i think it is a wise decision to start at least start the weaning off process uh, but for me uh, i started around uh, 17 and a half months and i took 15 days of time to uh, wean off my baby like completely uh, obviously the process started a little more earlier so i will tell you about that in a bit so yeah, so that is for weaning off between one years to two years of age. And let's see how we can do that. So basically, there are three methods uh, in which you can approach this entire process. One is the cold turkey process. That is, you decide today that you're going to stop breastfeeding. And from tomorrow, you do not feed your baby at all. According to me... No judgment on the mothers who approach this, but according to me, it is a very difficult method and mothers who are able to successfully attain the result with this method, um, I mean, hats off to them because you have to be really strong not to give give in to your baby's cries and, you know, just one day you decide and you no longer breastfeed. For me, it was really an emotional process as well. So emotionally adjusting to the fact that I might not breastfeed my baby from tomorrow at all would also be very challenging for me. I am not really fascinated by the cold turkey method. The second method is the baby led weaning method. So this is the happy go lucky method where your baby himself is telling you that, okay, mama, I don't think I need to breastfeed anymore. So uh, babies show signs that, you know, they don't come near you or they don't, uh, you know, they don't go near the area where you generally best breastfeed. And uh, they, there might be multiple reasons for it. Firstly, it could be that the babies are so fascinated by the world of solids and the food world that um, they find it more interesting than your boring, simple breast milk. So for them, the colors might be interesting. They might be fascinated by the textures and by the taste and the varieties that solid and liquid foods have. So automatically, they might... Uh, move away from your breastfeeding process. So that could be one of the reasons. So other reason could be that they are really active and they do not have the patience to sit in one place and feed. So uh, they would rather go and play and explore other activities rather than breastfeed. So that might be one reason. They also might be happy to drink from alternative ways like in a cup or a sippy bottle or they are satisfied and you know they are they are content enough from breastfeeding. So these are some of the signs that baby show that they are ready to wean off and you should be really thankful to God if you have a baby like that who is ready to give away the breast milk. Some babies in fact have to be insisted to breastfeed and until the time you decide to wean them off because they are not interested but you feel as a mother that they should be breastfeeding as it is the most important source of nutrition and immunity so there are certain kids like that but uh, for me my child was not like that so i am able to share my experience about how hard kids wean off so yeah so my baby led weaning was not the approach as my baby was not the cooperative one so that makes us go towards the third approach that is the mother led weaning where we mothers decide that okay now it is time for us to wean off our baby and we decide to do it gradually not in one go but gradually taking time and adjusting to the process for us and for the baby. 
so i think this is actually the best way to go about it so why i think cold turkey is not the best way to go about it is first your baby and your body they are confused about what is happening there is a sudden change in routine and as we know babies don't like sudden changes to their daily routine so they are really confused and that's why they are more resistant and there will be higher amount of tantrums as well and secondly your body has worked on demand and supply for production of breast milk so if you decide one day that you are not going to breastfeed then you are going to have problems of breast engorgement uh, which could lead to uh, blocked milk ducts which could also lead to abscess in certain uh, cases which could lead to surgery and the fever and the pain and all the discomfort associated with suddenly stopping breastfeeding uh, is very high so i would definitely not recommend to go through that path so my favorite is mother led gradual weaning so this is my favorite because it allows for us mothers and babies as well to adjust to this process one day at a time and hopefully make it easier for us so let me list down the ways in which you can handle this uh, firstly the frequency and the time of breastfeeding So what I mean by frequency is that if you are feeding seven to eight times a day, you might want to cut down that one feed at a time. So if you have like a morning feed, a eleven a.m. feed, an afternoon four a.m. feed, evening feed, and night feed, you might try to take away the feeds of eleven a.m. and four p.m. for instance, because uh, they are easier for us to. uh you know engage our child in different activities it is easier for us to distract if they suddenly remember about breastfeeding we could take them to a park or do some activities sing dance play read a book also we could uh, make them go out and play with their friends so so at these times it's easier to switch from the normal breastfeeding to a and to a other alternative like a finger food or a fruit or maybe we could give some dry fruits or something like that so frequency is taking out one feed at a time doing that for a week or so so if your baby has caught up quickly you can decide that okay now that i have stopped the 11 am and 4 pm feed for 3 days i am now okay to give up the afternoon feed okay i am now okay to give up the evening feed so in that way you can gradually decrease the 5 to 8 times feed a day to one to maybe only a night time feed only a day time feed so with me what i did is i stopped the day time feeds one by one completely and i used to feed her only during the night so that was one feed which gave me a real challenge to wean off from but uh, yeah i did it and i'm sure you can too so that is about the frequency so other thing is the time so if your baby is feeding for 10 to 15 minutes you can slowly decrease the feeding time by distracting them by singing or reading a book or suddenly uh, you know calling some other family member and playing with them so if the 15 minute feed would be slowly cut down to 5 minute feed to 2 minute feed and slowly in that way the feed would be just a complimentary feed and just a feed which is not to fill up your tummy the baby will know that i am not going to fill up my tummy by feeding and maybe lose interest in breastfeeding altogether so that is about decreasing the frequency and decreasing the time so we could replace the breastfeed also by giving them interesting bottles interesting sippy cups nowadays which are available in the market and they would think that breastfeeding is boring comparatively and slowly lose interest as well So the next way to aid weaning is to make the food world interesting and plan the alternatives that you're going to give instead of breast milk. And if you are going to make food interesting, which looks nice, which tastes nice, 
it is more likely that your baby is going to eat the solids more and rely on your breastfeed less. So what I used to do is uh, around the feed time, I used to make her eat solids or give her some semi-liquid food. So her tummy is already full during the feed and she might be not interested to eat anymore. For me, Adya really liked cheese. So I used to offer her cheese during the a few times so that she would get the nutrients that you would want her to get from a milk product but also not depend on the breastfeed the next thing that you could do is take help from family and friends if needed uh, certain children are very adamant and if they see their mothers around they will want breastfeed so uh, what you can do is just vanish from their eyesight during the feed time and plan and make the alternative available to the family member to provide it to the child uh, during the feed time so that the child is not remembering that it is breastfeeding time and if they see you they will recollect that and they would want breastfeed so if uh, so certain children are like that so that is also one trick that could really work for you so the challenge i was talking about is the night feed challenge so two types one is to get them to sleep feed and the other feed is during the night time when they are uh, already sleeping but they just wake up because of habit or maybe they are thirsty or maybe they are hungry and they would want to feed so to cut off the feed which helps the child to go to sleep uh, what you can do is maybe give them a bottle so i know many parents who have actually you know uh, made their child a habit of bottle during the night because they know it is going to be very challenging to wean that feed off but i would not suggest to make it a habit initially because then you know cleaning the bottle and sterilizing it and all that it's a lot of task and anyways by the end of the day you're so tired you really don't want to do uh, all these extra steps so uh, but bottle does help definitely when you are planning to wean off the baby so introducing bottle during that time is also a good idea uh, adya rejected that as well but around 18 months time was also the time that i introduced screen time for her so for the initial first week uh, when I was uh, weaning of the night feed, I used to let her see her favorite show if she would take the bottle and for those 5 to 10 minutes she could see the screen. So that is how I put the habit of bottle for her during the night and uh, that did take away some resistance because she was getting her favorite thing to do instead of breastfeeding. So you have to balance it out in a way. Also for helping her sleep, uh, what we call in Gujarati is Goryu. So I did not take away that habit for her. First I left her breastfeeding and then I made her uh, leave her swing. And uh, for, for me that helped me to you know rock her and make her go to sleep in the Goryu. That is the cradle or the swing or the bassinet whatever you call. So that rocking motion also helped her to go to sleep after having that bottle of hers. So other challenges during the night time when babies are sleeping and they get up to breastfeed. So generally when kids have started to eat solids during the day, it might just be the case that they are thirsty and uh, we cannot understand that and we get confused that they might want to breastfeed. So there are many kids who just having a sip of water and they fall right back to sleep. But obviously some mothers are not lucky like that like me and uh, Adhya if she is awake at night she is completely awake and she wants to breastfeed so uh, when I started to wean off her nighttime breastfeed uh, it was a complete havoc in the house 
everybody used to wake up she used to throw tantrums i have literally gotten bitten by her because she wanted to breastfeed so uh, thankfully uh, we stay with her grandparents so her, my uh, mother in law and uh, father in law they used to help me with that they used to take her for a round they we also had to give her ice cream a couple of times to uh, you know make her uh, relax and to take off that uh, that want of breastfeed so the night times are generally a challenge and uh, i am sure you will get through it but uh, then we gave her a bottle instead of a breastfeed so uh, slowly she got accustomed to that now i have to drink from the bottle only and the other thing that i did to help me uh, wean off the night time feed was uh, i used to paint uh sorry too much information but this really helped me is i put some nail paint on the nipples and red ones so i created this story that i had fallen and uh, i have got a boo boo now and uh, you know i've gotten hurt and now you will not be able to uh, drink from my breast you have to drink from the bottle doctor uncle has told me to take care and uh, i will not be able to feed you now so if you're hungry you have to take the bottle you have to drink from your sippy cup so uh, children of around 18 months are able to understand that story and uh, i used to keep the nail paint on throughout the day and if she again remembered about breastfeeding i used to show it to her see i am still hurt it is not uh, gone away sorry i will not be able to feed you and uh, you know you gain sympathy from them and uh, turn the tables around and you know you try to make them understand that you feeding is going to make it painful for me it's going to hurt me so then probably they would understand and uh, give away so that is one of the trick that i did to specially help me with the night time feed uh, one more suggestion is that if you know that your child is going to wake up in around about 4 hours so what you can do is you can already plan in advance wake up 10 minutes before they wake up and uh, prepare the bottle be ready with it and uh, when they start moving or show signs of waking up just feed it to them before they are fully awake so that uh, you know in that subconscious state they would probably drink and go back to sleep and also make sure that you choose a bottle which is easier to sip on so that they don't have to struggle to get the milk out of it because it is easier to uh, breastfeed right once the flow comes uh, it keeps on coming so uh, to replicate that probably you uh, choose a nipple of the bottle which has a little bit bigger hole so that it's easier to drink and does not wake up the child and they go right back to sleep so whichever method you choose the cold turkey one the baby led weaning which is a blessing if you your baby is like that or if you choose a gradual mother led weaning approach uh there are certain things that you have to keep in mind uh, number one is when to plan the start of the process so uh generally if there is like a big life event happening if you have like a big family wedding or if you are moving houses or if there's some repair work going on in the house or you are going to have visitors during that initial phase uh, i would suggest you not to start the weaning of process during this big life changes because firstly you yourself would be so engaged in other activities that you might not want to handle those tantrums and deal with that resistance that your baby comes up with and also because that life change is a change for the baby in its routine and uh, you know handling that change for the baby itself is going to be difficult and if you put in that weaning off process uh, in between that uh, the process might just break down and you would give away and just breastfeed rather than solving the rest of the problems and uh, you might want start from zero so avoid that and also try to plan when baby is in a good health 
when i mean health baby is not ill or is not having fever or is not having a vaccination coming up any time soon or baby is not teething because if they are teething uh, breastfeed is like a soothing mechanism for them so uh, if you try and wean off during that time they are likely to be more resistant so try and plan around these events and uh, you know just apart from the weaning of process try to keep the rest of the things in equilibrium so that you can handle this one thing at a time second thing is be mentally very strong and determined you as a mother if you have decided that i want to stop breastfeeding whichever method nobody else knows the best it could be due to many reasons if you want to go back to work if there is some medical situation if probably there's another baby on the way or if you just think that it is tiring you draining all the energy out of your body or also some babies if they are so involved in breastfeeding they don't show any interest in the other solid food and which is not good for them after a certain age that is after 1 year babies should have a wholesome meal breastfeed is just a supplement to the wholesome meal so if the baby is too attached to breastfeeding and not eating right uh, nutritionally that might not be the best way to go about so if you decide that that is why i have to stop breastfeeding to promote my child to eat other stuff so uh, that could also be one of the reason so if whatever the reason be if you have determined you have to stay on that track make sure to get your family to get your partner on board with your plans because generally in the society if the child is crying too much if the child is throwing too much tantrums you might be pressurized ki this time just give it give give it to the baby you know he's crying so much but if your family is on board from day 1 you would save yourself this hassle but you know one interesting thing that i found is when we decrease our feeds from suppose seven feeds in a day to three feeds in a day then all the nutritional value is concentrated in that three feeds of the day so don't feel bad that you're not able to nourish your child as much as you should by decreasing the breastfeeding but you are actually giving them whatever they needed your body knows what your child needs and god has created our bodies in a way that we are able to nourish our children so uh, don't feel bad at all and be very consistent and very persistent that now is the time i have to wean my baby off and uh, slowly the baby's body will also adjust and your body is also going to adjust to this fact also make sure that you tend to your child's emotional needs because breastfeeding is generally a very emotional bond for the child so the child might misunderstand that now mama is not giving me breast milk so mama doesn't love me and so make sure that you replace this emotional bond that comes with breastfeeding aha uh -huh, my baby is here so make sure that you replace this emotional uh, bond of breastfeeding to other activities like playing with them dancing with them and uh, giving them one on one time of yours and try to make them feel safe that although mama is not breastfeeding me she still loves me other thing that you need to plan for is how you are going to deal with the changes that are happening to your body when we are feeding our child the milk production is according to the demand so when we decrease the feeding our body needs time to adjust to that changes in demand and adjust the supply accordingly so you will have breast engorgement you might have blocked milk ducts and also other kind of pain and sometimes you might also have fever because of this pain so plan on how you are going to deal with uh these problems with this pain 
uh, I will try and make a video uh, on how I managed it and give you some tips and advice but it's generally to uh, massage your breast regularly and to express if there is a little bit pain not too much because then your body might think that the baby needs the milk so it might produce keep on producing so uh, so I will, I will try and make a video on it because this is getting too long now so yeah. let me just say that your baby and you will adjust to this change it might take a couple of months for some babies or it might take a couple of weeks for some babies. So whatever is working for you is the best way out there. There is nothing wrong or nothing right. You can ask around your friends and family about how they dealt with uh, the weaning off process and you might get some surprising tips from them as well. So I hope you have found something useful in this video. If I have missed out something or if you have a tip or a trick that could help other fellow mamas, uh, do let me know in the comments and I hope to see you soon next time. Bye!